Hello to all of my DIYers, non-DIYers, and DIY enthusiasts. Welcome to the Crafty Nana channel. Today I'm not only participating, but I'm also co-hosting the $10 Winter Decor Challenge 2021 Open Invite, along with the fantastically creative Creating with Ms. K and the inventive Lady Cinnamon. These are gifted women who produce phenomenal pieces on their channels, so please make sure you visit them. Their channels are listed in the description area. I'm sharing how I made this adorable melted snowman centerpiece. To recreate this, you will need a candle in a glass dish, plastic gems, a snowman hat, a round mirror, a wood block, two duster mop heads, and some embellishments. To begin, I'm removing the 9.5 inch mirror from its frame. The back has plastic clips that has to be pushed back so the mirror can be pushed out. Be careful as to not to break them because we will need them in order to hold the mirror in place when we put the mirror back in. Now that I've removed the mirror, I will now glue the dust mop head to the frame. I'm cutting the duster right down the middle because it's currently too wide for the frame. I'm applying dabs of glue as I apply the cloth to the frame. I'm hoping to give the frame a snowy vibe. To complete the entire frame, I used a complete duster and a half of another one. What do you think? Did I get the snowy effect that I was striving for? Leave me a comment. Applying the cloth really didn't take that long. Now flip the frame over and reinsert the mirror. I had to push some of the fur away when I was inserting the mirror. If you broke any of the clips, you can also glue the mirror in place. However, you will need to be careful so you don't get glue on the fur. Now that my furry base is complete, I can now work on my snowman's head. I'm using this glass scented candle for the head. To create a snowy texture, I'm combining white glitter with Mod Podge. When mixing, try not to make your mixture too watery because you want to achieve a packed snow-like texture on the candle. Off screen, I applied an additional layer of the glitter mixture. I allowed four hours of dry time in between the applications. I also applied a liberal coat of Mod Podge to seal the mixture on the candle. So, what do you think? I feel I captured that snowy effect. The next step is to add the head to the base. I'm trying to make it look like the snowman is melting. So I'm using a small block to tilt the head. I'm using Fix All and hot glue to hold the block in place. After placing the block where it needed to go, I moved forward with adding the snowman face. The nose was made using air dry clay. A coat of orange paint was added to the nose. The stick on beads that will be used for the eyes and nose was purchased from Michaels. I stuck the eyes on to gauge where the nose should go. I used Fix All and hot glue to attach the nose. I then peeled off the eyes, added Fix All to the back, and placed them back on the snowman. I used some smaller black gems for the mouth. I added Fix All and applied them to the face. To attach the head to the block, I used Fix All and hot glue. I had to hold it down for a little while in order for it to adhere completely. Let's go and build a snowman. I'm adding this ribbon that I will double as a scarf and also serve as a covering to hide the block that was used to tilt the snowman's head. Since this is a wired ribbon, I decided to fold the ends like an accordion to give it a flowing effect. Since this is a real candle, I'm laying the hat on the side to make it look like the hat melted off of the snowman's head. I'm applying a small amount of hot glue to hold it in place. Here's a safety note. Make sure that the flames from the candle can't reach any part of the hat. Do not leave this candle unattended when lit. 
Here's a side note. The hat is a Dollar Tree Christmas ornament. If you can't find it, a ribbon spool covered in black felt can also be used. I wish I would have captured this next step at a better angle. What I'm doing here is using hot glue to glue down the plastic gems. Since they look like little ice cubes, I figured they would make a great melted body. Now that the body is complete, I'm adding two plastic stick-on gems. They came out of the same pack of gems that his mouth came out of. I'm now adding the snowman's arms. I cut the tips of a silver floral that was left over from Christmas, and I'm using that for the arms. I'm applying a little hot glue to the top of the arms, and then positioning them on the body. Here's a better view of the melted body. FYI. I also went back and added two blocks to underneath the front of the head. I thought it looked better with the head leaned back opposed to leaning forward. Here's my finished melted snowman centerpiece. He's the perfect complement to my winter table. I'm thanking the host of this challenge, Creating with Ms. K, and the co-host, Lady Cinnamon, again for allowing me to co-host this wonderful challenge. I've provided the links for their channels along with the playlist in the description area. Please visit the playlist and show your support for each participant by watching their videos in its entirety. And remember to add a touch of love to each crafted piece.